So here with Baseford United manager Mark Clifford. So first couple of weeks as manager of the club, how's it been so far? Yeah, it's um, it's been enlightening. It's been interesting. It's gone really, really quickly. The games come round thick and fast, um, but I'm fully enjoying it. Um, and you know, hopefully there's, there's been some changes in in terms of how we play and how we're training, um, and hopefully we start to see the fruitions of that come 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 on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And in between spells as manager, you've had a period of time, a period of time, sorry, in the boardroom. Does that time upstairs make you see things slightly different now, maybe as manager? Yeah, definitely. And I think you know what it was. It was a great. It was a great time. You know, towards the end, it wasn't. It wasn't what I wanted it to be. But it was a great time in terms of understanding what what it really takes to kind of make the wheels of a football club run. Uh, and some work with some great people over there. Um, but it's important that you know. The management team get the team playing us in a way that excites people. Um, that that helps people come to the ground. It enjoys the style of play. People come with a smile. They want to see us having a real go. Um, and that's that's kind of what I want to bring to this. Is you know, let's entertain people. Let's let's have a go at teams. You know, um, you know we want to put the ball in the box. We want to get after teams. And ultimately, let's we want we want the fans to be entertained when they come. So that's that's what I'm setting out to do. Obviously, you're now working alongside Liam Hearn and Wayne Scott, two familiar faces at Baseford. Can you touch briefly on their roles with you? Yeah, so um, it's, it's been great for me. Obviously, I, I signed Hernsey. Me, me and Martin signed Hernsey yeah, the first time he came, and he had an unbelievable season, which you know got us promotion. And let's make no bones about it. He was he was part of a, a great team, but he was a massive reason why we got promoted. Um, and Ernst had been away and, and, and worked at his coaching and he's a fantastic coach um, and it was important that I had someone with me that could could take up that mantle a little bit because you know I like to coach and I want to be out there and I, and I want to coach but you need somebody else to do that so you can take a step back sometimes and, and have a look at, at what's going on and have little quiet words in people's ears um, and so that's important that I brought someone in like Ernst that can coach and he's been superb his sessions have been good the players have been receptive they've been short, sharp, short and sharp um, where they've needed to be, um, so I'm, I'm really pleased with that so far. Um, Scotty has a different dynamic. Um, he, he knows the game, he knows people in the game, he knows lots about opposition because he's been doing it for for the club all this season, um, and it's great. You know, we're just talking now about how that which way goes, so how, how we may look, what type of things we may need to consider. Um, so it's a great dynamic, and, it, and it's working well so far. Hopefully. Um, we'll see the fruition of that as well on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, as you just mentioned there, how between you do you go about kind of changing the dynamic in the field to get us back on track towards the end of the season and beyond then? Look, let's, um, if, if we look, since I've been in and I'm sure beyond, the only problem that this team's had is scoring goals. Um, it's a great squad. There's some great people in, in the team. It's a fantastic club in general. Um, we've just got to get that feel-good factor going on the pitch with the boys um, and to get them believing a little bit. You know, so when they're in front of goal, they believe they're going to score. Because at the minute, I don't think they actually believe they're going to score when they get there. Um, we're doing lots of work with them. We have Chris Frio coming in to do some um, striking training with them. So they're finishing regularly. Um, and it's important that they get confident. Because when we get one, I think we'll go on and we'll, we'll start to score goals again. And then we'll become that team that we know it can be. And now, obviously, we look ahead to Saturday with your home return as manager against Nantwich. How much are you looking forward to getting back in front of the fans and do you have any messages for them? Well, first of all, it's, it'll be nice to play at home because it's, it's always it's nice to play at home. You know, it's, it's a great place to play. We've got a great surface, um, great fans. Um, but it's not about me. This is about the team picking up three points. Um, and that's, you know, ultimately, that's the be-all and end-all of Saturday, as far as I'm concerned, is, is trying to get the ball in the back of the net and trying to get the team three points to, to start us on, off on a bit of a run. Uh, in terms of a message to the fans is, come down, get behind us, as you always do. Um, give, us, give us that bit of that 12th man, and, and it'll, it'll get us over the line to those three points we're after. Mm -hmm. And how are the players ahead of that one? Are they in good spirits, and are you going into that game for, with a fully fit squad? Yeah, we're going in with a fully fit squad. We've got... Um, We've got we've got a great squad as 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 we've said you know we, one or two have gone out this week but I I think we're, we're we're in a really strong position the lads are fit they've been working really hard on Tuesdays um, tonight will be short sharp lots of fun lots of smiling faces and lift the group ready to go into the game on Saturday mm -hmm. and finally we uh, Baseford have welcomed the loan signing of Tyrese Palmer from Nuts County what do you think he's going to bring to the table 
I think it will, it will add a little bit of quality potentially when we need it and, and in the right areas. He came and trained with us on Tuesday, really quick, intelligent, finishes well, make, you know, makes really good runs and it, I think is exactly what, what we're looking for, um, just to complement the group we've already got. That's perfect. Thank you for your time, Cliffy.